Welcome back. So today, trying to keep it even shorter than usual, unless not. Uh, let's talk about how and when specifically outdoor time improves your eyesight. And we talked about this before, I'm bringing it up again because of that. There was some silly study that was talking about myopia onset being delayed from outdoor time, which is bullshit. But being outside can protect your eyesight. And to explain that, we'll have to go a little bit back and I'll try to keep this short. There's a longer version of all this posted in the link below. So basically what happens is your eyes are designed for distance vision. So there's a muscle in your eye, that muscle is relaxed when you're looking at a distance, that muscle is tight when you're looking up close, shapes the lens in your eye. By design, sometimes close up, most of the time distance. Modern life means you're sitting in front of a screen all the time, you're staring at one fixed point in front of you, close in front of you, so that muscle is always tight. And what's even worse is not only is the muscle always tight, it's static, right? Like if you're looking at a three-dimensional space up close, that muscle at least is moving. It's like if you keep your arms like this as opposed to if you're moving them, a totally different level of strain. So you get a lot of eye strain. So eventually that muscle stops relaxing properly because you're stuck in close-up mode. Now, because it won't relax completely, right? Instead of going all the way to open, it goes just to half open. It seems like you're myopic, but really what happened is the lens shape doesn't return to where it should be for distance vision. So you see a little bit of blur ice cream truck. And you go to the optometrist and they prescribe you, prescribe you glasses, which is a 16th century invention, which moves the focal plane further back in your eye, compensating for this muscle spasm. Compensating the wrong way, obviously, because it doesn't fix the muscle spasm, it just hides it. So now, the focal plane is moved further back in your eye, your muscle is still not fully relaxed. Now what happens is, the cycle continues, because inside your eye, the retina and the eyeball have their own control system that determines where the light should focus, right? So now with the, with the glasses having moved the focal plane back, this is your retina, the back of your eye, this is where the light should focus, it should focus right here. But because you're using glasses meant for distance vision and close up, some of the light kind of goes past where the retina should be, like it's, it's still a little bit in defocus called hyperopic defocus. And because the eye is a brilliant, amazing design, it recognizes this and it assumes that it's something wrong with the shape of it. So it just adjusts the length of the eyeball. Like instead of being like this, like it moves itself back to get the light to focus on the back of the retina by design, right? So this continues happening. You get stronger glasses, the focal planes move back even further and the eye continues it's, the eyeball starts like this and it starts getting longer and longer, trying to compensate for this long focal plane. And so all this goes on because you keep sitting indoors and you keep getting this 16th century nonsense glasses thing instead of fixing what initially was a muscle spasm. Now, what does this have to do with outdoors? Stimulus is what caused this. Your eye's not broken, right? There, you're not, there, there's nothing wrong with you. It's, it's these things and hyperopic to focus causing your eyeball to elongate. Your eyeball's not happy about this, right? Because now the retinal attachment where your retina attached to your eyeball is, is strained, like everything is wrong. And your biology knows this, like clearly it doesn't want to be in this elongated shape. But it has to be because the primary, the primary incentive, the primary stimulus is this is the focal plane, so it keeps doing that. So if you go outside, if you go outside, you're not sitting in front of a screen, so you're, you're getting distance. So the hyperopic to focus goes away. Like you, now you're still wearing these glasses, but you're not wearing them in close up. So as long as you're outside, you're not causing this stimulus, right? So you're giving your eyes basically a break. That alone is not enough. But if you are wearing a slightly reduced set of lenses that still give you clear vision, but say like to 2030, and then you challenge your eyesight, you're working on positive stimulus, you're working on saying, okay, 
what you're doing now is if you're wearing slightly reduced lenses, remember instead of the light hitting the eye a little bit too far in the back, now it hits it a little bit too far in front of the retina. Just a little tiny bit though. You don't wanna just wear random, this is not medical advice and no prescription advice, by the way. You want the light to be just barely in front of it, just the way your glasses just move it barely behind it. So that way your eyes now have an incentive from going from being elongated shape to moving back to a normal round shape because now you have the focal plane just a little bit in front, like a teaser. It's a stimulus that slowly, slowly, slowly makes your eye move back into its normal shape. Uh, links below, dig around a little bit. The science on this is real. Like axial elongation, just, uh, an optician has no idea, an optometrist has no idea, doesn't know anything, right? A smart one knows about axial elongation and they should, but most of them think that it only goes one way. Now there's plenty of science that shows that it goes both ways and why wouldn't it? But links to that below, like it's, there's no, it's no nonsense, this is the real deal. So the way outdoor helps is one, it takes away the hyperopic to focus for a little while. And two, if you know what you're doing, if you know what you're doing, you're not wearing these for close up, right? You're wearing something much reduced for close up, just what you need, not more. And then for distance, you're wearing something that's enough to see clearly, but gives you a little bit of this, just a little bit. Like you can see 2030 or 2040, not when you're driving. And again, this is not medical advice. Like where you're, your, your, your focal plane is not exactly all on the retina, but there's a little bit of it just, just in front of it to make the eye wanna go, I'm gonna get there. And that works at about one diopter a year, a little bit less than one diopter a year. And for reference, three diopters is about one millimeter of axial elongation. So that's how outdoor time can help improve your eyesight. And there's a lot more to be said for this which I think I'm just gonna leave in the blog post below about how you can spend a lot of time up close. You can get away with a lot of close up as long as you're not using the wrong lenses and as long as you're not ignoring the ciliary spasm that you're creating every day from close up. You gotta recognize it and you gotta remove it every day. And then you gotta get outdoor stimulus. So you can keep watching YouTube, you can keep gaming, you can keep your sitting in front of a computer job every day, but you need to compensate for that stuff. You know, just like how people go to the gym or have healthy diets. The eye being neglected eventually is gonna give you trouble unless you do these things. That was dense and not so fun. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Your thumbs up and comments direct where I go with the next ones. So I really appreciate your feedback and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.